So the first steps of pencil tone are basically going around the outside of something. So going along the edge like that. Don't go around the whole thing. Just if you go and say around this area here, you'd only go around this a smaller section. You don't want because some bits might be so light that they don't need any pencil tone at all. You'll end up just rubbing things out. So just go around a small section at a time. You know, along the edge, it's like a buffer zone. You're gonna go diagonally one way. You can use this technique, or you can just use a fading technique. I'll show you both. Diagonally opposite way over the top, across. And then start to fade it out. Now, fading out isn't smudging with your finger. It's purely the pressure on your pencil. So pressing on a little bit harder here. And then fading it out by not pressing on this hard at all. And it's almost like you're not touching the page. Okay. So I'll just show you again. And all it is, is practice. Practice, practice, practice. Because if you don't, and you end up smudging with your finger, I'll just show you in the corner over here. So if I ended up doing, going along a line, and then I faded it out to where I think I can go to, so I can imagine if it's there, and I try and smudge the rest, it goes grey, completely grey, okay, and you end up with a dirty finger. And you don't want that. Whereas you can see the control and the quality in this, where it's it's going from dark grey to medium grey to light to white. You've got all of those tones in there, which is a much, much better piece of work than a smudged grey piece. So, again, I'll show you if you go a longer section. Now, this way, you don't have to use the cross hatching. You could just go straight into the fading, so you've gone along the line. And then you're going to go across and fade that out. I would suggest you practice and practice and practice. Send us your photos of what you've done. And I can give you tips on where you might be going wrong. Fade, fade. Now there's some sections like here. You can see it's not going to go any lighter. It might be, if you're lucky enough to have different types of pencils at home, you might need to switch pencils. Remember also that you can always add more layers to it. So down here, this section here, I'm going to need to make that darker. So I've not gone full dark to start off with and start and making it shiny. So if I was pressing on really hard, you can see how that is going a little bit shiny. That's because you're pressing on so hard that, see how the pencils come off, so hard that it's it's shiny. Now that's really hard to get off. Whereas here, I've started off with a neutral pressure and then I've, I'm going to build and I'm going to add layers. So I'm going to layer it up. I know that that particular corner needs to be a little bit darker. So I've gone back once I've got my tone right and just added that in, which is fine. Okay. So, just show you one more time. Just go around the edge of something. That's really important. It's almost like a buffer zone. And then you start to fade it out. By pressing on lighter and lighter. Always go back to the same point as well. Always go back to the beginning and start to fade it out. Just like that. And that is how you create pencil tone.